What's going to go in the top of the magic X? And in the bottom. Good. What multiplies the 32 and adds the 12? X plus 8, X plus 4. Does it matter what order I do that in? No. No. Okay. If I keep going and I foil that back out, doesn't that get me back to this? Yeah. So you shouldn't, if it's asking you to factor, stop, right? It's asking you to foil. My daughter actually, she, she, uh, she, did, she was doing Algebra 1 last year and she liked this because it was easy to check, right? Because you can check to see if you did it right because you just foil it. All right. Let's talk about at least nine if we don't get to nine and 10, but let's do at least nine, okay? So um, it says solve, and then the terminology might say something like one of the solutions of whatever the problem is, is, okay? Um, the first thing I try to do is I try to do a magic X on it usually to solve it because it's a quadratic that we're trying to solve. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative five and add to three. What are the only things that multiply to five? One times five. Is there any way if I put negatives in there that I'm going to get a three? No. So I have to have another tool to be able to solve. Does anybody remember any other tools we had to solve quadratics in Algebra 1? I'm going to write a little hint. Do you remember? <laughs> What's it called? Does anybody know? Yeah, that's the quadratic formula. Again, if you remember it, you remember it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm going to show you to show it to. We're trying to kick the dust off, right? Make sure we kind of get the brain going this year, and review some of that old algebra. I will show you the algebra two version soon, okay? Because we do this again in algebra two. There's another layer we add to it though. Not, when the magic X doesn't work, you go to quadratic formula to solve for X. Basically, it means it, when your, your X, your intercepts, they're not pretty whole numbers anymore, okay? They're, or integers, they're decimals or other stuff, okay? Fractions, decimals, they're not nice, okay? All right, in this problem here, the A is the coefficient in front of the X squared, the B is the coefficient in front of the X, the C is the constant at the end. So x equals negative, what am I putting in for b? So I'm only using the numbers. So what am I going to put in for, for b? Three. Because look at where is the x. This is how we're solving for x. So we're going to say x equals, so the x is actually already in the front of the equation, or the formula. All right, what's uh, negative 3 squared? I'm sorry, 3 squared. 9. So I'm okay, do it in your head, all right? Four times, what's my A value? One, good. What's my C value? Negative five, all over two times, what's my A value again? One, good. Let me give you a minute to catch up, or a couple seconds to catch up. Okay. Let's try it. So negative three plus or minus square root of, uh, what's negative four times one times negative five? Twenty, good. And then two times one, just two, right? What is nine plus twenty? Twenty. Remember the other day we simplified the radicals with the sign over there? 29 isn't divisible by any of those square numbers, is it? 4, 9, 16, 25. So you get to leave it. You do not have to split it up. They typically will, or they might do this. They might actually only give you one of the answers. So they might just do this or switch it to the one with the minus sign in it. And with quadratics, there's always two answers because the parabola crosses the x-axis twice. So it could be this answer. Or it could be this answer. I think it said one solution. So it might just be one of these, okay? But not both, all right? So really watch your signs because they could try to trick you with your signs, okay? Yeah, let me zoom out. Is that good? Okay. All right. 
Once you've got it, we have just enough time to practice the other one. So take a minute and practice it. Okay. So do the other, the last problem there. Number 10. So everybody try it. Give you like 30 seconds because I forgot I wanted to talk about something real quick. Okay, that's the answer I got. Negative five plus or minus square root of 53 over two. Okay, all right, I wanna talk about our strategy on this test really quick for tomorrow, okay? Where's the right thing? Uh, not that one, that one. Okay, so the reason we're doing the test is so we can see where you're weak, so we can fix that, right? Remember, you did algebra one at home online, right? So we've, there's stuff to be fixed. Okay, still left over from that. So we got to get it fixed. This is how we're going to kind of narrow down what it is. Okay, so the strategy on this test, there's 45 questions. There's no way you're going to finish it in the class period tomorrow. I don't expect it to be finished. Okay, I'm not expecting perfect scores. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, if you see a question and you think you understand any portion of it, try the question. Okay, even if you get that question wrong, it still gives me information on how to help you. Okay. If you do not understand a question, don't just bubble an answer. Skip it. Because if the whole class skips, I know, and it's something we need for Algebra 2 trig, I know, oh, I got to cover that. Okay? Make sense? So are we guessing tomorrow? No. Either try it or skip it. I, are we skipping all 45, though? No. Okay? You should, know, you should recognize something after the last three days. Okay? Yeah, I'll go back. I'll go back. Give me a second. I just wanted to make sure we got that in real quick. Yeah, there you go. Yes. I left it right near your seat. See? Don't leave it in another class now because they might not know who it belongs to. Yeah, what's up? Yep. Did you do these things? Um, I can't sign it. Good evening. Um, I mean, I did. I really don't want to be moved to the front, but I have to ask that. Oh, there's really no yeah, front. I mean, yeah. yeah, there's no front. So, all right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. What's your name? Okay. You're kind of it. There's no front in here, so because you can always, uh, we can always pull up a Google Meet and put it on in your screen. Okay. Have a good day, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do.